What's up, YouTube? My name is Cam, and today we're playing Suck Up. Before we get into the game, I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit. Apologize for the last two weeks. So I know I have been just playing Resident Evil Village. I played that. I played the DLC. That's completely finished. I started my next series, Dead Rising. And for some reason, for the last two weeks, my motivation has dropped. I really wanted to record for you guys, but I was just feeling, I don't want to say depressed. I was just feeling a little, I, I wasn't feeling motivated because I don't know what to play new, like new game wise, because there's no games coming out that I do want to play. And I want to continue to play games that I never played or old games like Dead Rising, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I've been streaming a lot these past few days. And that's because some games I categorize if I can stream it or record it. A lot of games I do want to play, I cannot record. Like, I can physically, but the editing will be off and I think the video will be kind of boring. Like, for example, let's take Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. I want to play the whole series. I never actually played the whole series. I want to record it for you guys, but I know that the series is so long. I will probably stop midway and just abandon it like I usually do with my other games. But I don't want to do that for you guys. So I think I'm going to just record games that I know I can edit like this and any games and like Dead Rising 2, like, not, not, like something not too long. But then if I actually want to play a game that's a really long series, like Last of Us 2, uh, DBZ Kakarot, Kingdom Hearts, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna just stream it instead. I know you guys don't really like to watch streams and that's okay. I'm not saying my spe uh, specifically, but some streams you don't wanna watch, that's totally fine. I can be the same way, but I will be doing streaming on Twitch and YouTube. It's in the description below. And my streams will be on my YouTube channel. So you can also go back, watch my streams, fast forward if you want to. I think that's the best way to do it. So it's the best way to juggle of me not getting burnt out and me making new content for you guys, so that makes sense. I kind of wanted to take a break from recording for two weeks just so I can like get my mind ready, think about what games I do want to play, what games I want to stream, and try to try to bring more content to the channel. Um, I did, I did not forget about the 300 stuff special part two. I still, I'm still editing my uh, Saturday Night Horrors. I'm coming back, but just give me time. Work has been picking up. Um, I just been really busy in my real life. I haven't really got time to edit or record videos like I want to, but I promise you it's gonna come sooner than later. Just please trust me on this, it's going to come, all right? But I do wanna apologize just for the lack of, I wanna say editing in my videos. It's just a lot, you know, just recording and then editing and then also streaming on my free time and then also like trying to like be social with my real life friends and also work. It's just a lot. And I'm grateful that I can do all of this at once. But there can be time where, you know, I may be quiet for a week. I'm, my editing might not be as good as my last videos. But just know the videos are going to come. They're not stop. It's going to be weekly. I've been saying that for almost a year and I've been consistent. Every single week, I drop at least one or two videos. You guys cannot say nothing about that. Okay? I'm doing my best. But um, we're going to jump into Suck Up. Okay? I don't know much about this game. I believe this is a game where I have to use my voice to communicate with the NPCs like AI and try to get in their house and suck them, pause, eat them up. Let's go on the game, bro. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumping in in the dump. Taking over, taking over someone's house is easy as giving them a little bite. The silly vampire rules just di dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that inv invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Let's go hunting, boys and girls and gals and they them. Happy Pride Month, everybody. It's June 2nd. Y'all probably get this way later. All right. We don't look suspicious at all. All right. Nah, bro. Get that beating back on. Okay. Uh, Let's do this house first. Wait, where what? No. Knock on the door. <laughs> oh, my stars and garters, what a surprise. What brings you around these parts at an ungodly hour? How you doing, ma'am? I'll just walk around and I realize your front light was on and I wanted to just say hi and say I'm new to the community. How you doing? Oh. Well, ain't that just the sweetest thing? 
I'm doing just fine, Darren. Thank you for asking. It's mighty kind of you to come by and introduce yourself. I reckon we can have a little chat if you like. Shit. I would actually love that. And I was wondering if... This may sound weird, but I only had any friends here, and I just moved. So would you want to be my friend, Grandma? I don't know her, I don't know her last name. Come on. Oh, bless your heart, sweetheart. I would be absolutely delighted to be your friend. Why don't you come on in and we can have a little nice cup of tea and a little chat. I got some story to tell you that I might just tickle your fancy. I'm quick with this. I'm about to suck that ass up. Come here. Come here. Yo, how do you eat her? Okay. Oh, damn, look like I'm about to be the main course. That was easy. I'm grandma now. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. Easy. Watch and learn, boy. I got a plan. <laughs> hey, yo, what's cracking, Grandma Ma? What brings you to my crib by this un unholy hour? How you doing, sweet pea? I got some cookies for you. And, you know, Grandma's all alone, little swipe. You want some? How's it going? Hey, Grandma, you know I'm always down for some cookies. You the, you the real MVP. Spreading that love and sweetness. But hey, what's the deal? You seem too chill. Spill the tea, Grandma. <laughs> oh, little swipe, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I'm a little lonely, and you know. I'm always here to bring you cookies, and you are my favorite neighbor. Bro, look at me go. I love it happen. Grandma, Ma, you a gem. I can resist your cookies and your kindness. Slide into my crib. We're going to have a blast. Let's get the party started. Bring them cookies and some good vibes. This is too easy, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give me that ass, boy. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Come here. <laughs> Bean. Yo, baby boy, you going to taste my fairy bees, fam. Easy. Yep, I'm grandma. Come on, game. You got to you gotta, you gotta do better than that, bro. You got to do better than that. Watch. Uh, Your grandma was shaking. Ready to ride a Bitcoin way to the moon, old school style? Let's do this. You know, I came about you about some Bitcoin. I am kind of interested. I can invest at least $10,000. How much is that for you? Dude, that's a solid starting point. With 10,000, you can definitely hop on a Bitcoin train. It's currently around 40,000 per Bitcoin, so you can grab around 0.25 Bitcoin. But keep in mind, prices can be vol volatile, um, exhilarating. Exhilarating, you see. Okay, um, how about you come over for some cookies, or I can come over inside your house, and we can talk about more Bitcoin. I got money for you. Grandma, you the coolest old lady neighbor. I love to come over for some cookies and chat about Bitcoin. Let's dive into the crypto world together. I bring my sickest style of Bitcoin knowledge. You can bring your cookies. See you soon. No, I want to come inside your house. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Come here, baby. Dude, don't bite. I pay you a crypto. Grandma, easy to get to get away with shit. Oh shit. We good, we good, we good. We good, we good, we good. Oh. Yep. Yep, I got that Bitcoin. Move, move, move. This is easy, boy. What do you want, man? Make it quick. I got better things to do than deal with your suit and tie nonsense. Hey, yo, Raven, how about this? You give me $10 in Bitcoin, I give you $20,000 cash right now. Bet. That was the dumbest thing I said in my life, bro. Are you serious right now? That's the lamest scam I ever heard. Get lost, loser. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, uh, I need a new suit, bro. 
Oh, I'm gonna wear this. Yep. I need a new hat. I need a hat. I know what to do. I got a plan. I'm gonna be. I'm act like I'm. I'm, I'm act like I'm a gardener. Where? Get that hat, bro. There we go. There we go. Get that broom. Easy. We got this. Wait. Yeah, I don't want that book back. Yes. Glasses. That. That. And the. No. Move. I don't want the book back, bro. Please. Move. Perfect. Hey, little baba. Hey, dude. What brings you here in the middle of the night? You some help with your garden or something? Yeah, I'm actually new to the neighborhood, and my profession is a gardener. I was wondering if I can look at your lawn and see if I can do anything for you. Well, that's my neighborly of you, but my lawn is pretty fine as it is. I pretend to it myself, you know. But I gotta ask, do you have any experience with um unique plants? Um, I have some unique plants at my house. Can you give me examples of your unique plants so I can tell you what I can do? I can tell you what I can do, bro. What am I? I can't speak. Oh, unique plants, huh? Well, I got some super special top secret plants that have been growing in my backyard. Let's just say they're not average petunias or daisies but uh it's kind of a secret club if you know what i mean can i can you keep a secret i'm the best at secrets you know what if you tell me your secret i'll tell you mine's neighborly love right here neighborly love right here <laughs> well since you're all about the neighborly love i guess i could trust you i got a head and garden filled with some secret dang plants if you catch my drift remember this thing between us got it so what's your secret gardening G gardener enthusiast What's my secret? Oh, you dummy. I'm a vampire, bitch. <laughs> Give me your neck. Give me your neck. Bing. Man, I'm about to become the ultimate snack sound edible. Mm-hmm. Easy. Easy, easy. All right, we got this in the bag. Let me go back. Let me go back to um to her. Let me go to her. Wait, if he sees me, it's game over? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Um, What's the deal? Can a person have a moment of peace in their own realm? Yeah, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm new to your neighborhood, and I just want to introduce myself. What's your name? My name is um Cam. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, I'm Raven. Nice to meet you too, I guess. What do you want from me? I just came to say hi. I know it's pretty late. I didn't mean to intrude on your day, but hello. And I was wondering if you have any plants I could tend to. I'm a gardener. Wow, I suck. Who oh, yeah. Um, my gardener, huh? Well, I guess I have a few sad looking plants out back that can use some TLC, but don't expect any gratitude from me or anything. Oh, no, I'm doing it because I'm just so nice, and it's called neighborly love. And you seem like, you seem nice. I like you. So, how about, can I help your plants? Can I help your plants, bro? Yeah, bro. Uh, um, fine, maybe I want to my little help with those plants. Just... Don't expect me to turn into some cheerful sunshine person or anything, but thanks for thinking I'm nice, I guess. My pleasure. Now, if you can show me where the plants are, I will get right to it. What the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. Follow me then. Don't be, don't be touching anything else in my house. Got it. And don't think this me where it's the best friends or anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to bite that ass, girl. Come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come here, Raven. Yep. Uh, just my luck. Being a mortal was so last million. Be I didn't read what she said. Okay. Look at this. 31 houses. Damn. Oh, you got money. Oh, nah. Box me. Yep. Yep. Hold on. You got a lot of money. Yep. Golf bag. I didn't check my outfit. Oh yeah, you you a white boy? All right, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. You probably lonely and single. Yep. Raven, I need your clothes. Thank you. I could be an actor. Easily, I can shift my voice up in the quickness. What the world are you doing knocking my door late? Can you see I'm trying to drop my piece of what? I'm so sorry, Charles. Um, I have a box meal for you. I didn't mean to intrude in your night. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done this. Apologies. 
Well, it's about time you realize that Bob and phone with this day. This lady ain't polite. Take your box and scram. Don't come knock on my door again. Good night. Okay. Um, that wasn't the plan. I, I, I fumbled the bag. I'm getting nervous. I don't know why. It's still like I'm talking, it's still like I'm talking to like somebody in real life. Hold on, hold on. Wear a pistol. No, you know what? Yep. Yep. I need to switch my outfit. Nah, keep the keep that mask on. Mm-hmm. Keep the mask. Ooh. You don't see shit. You don't see shit. Watch. Oh, he came strapped. What's the matter, pal? You think you can walk to my door and that get up and demand something? You got some nerve, I tell you. Bro, I'm from the Sopranos. If you shut this door in my face, I will fucking blast you. Do you hear me? Look at my gun in my hand. That wasn't intimidating. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, tough guy. I don't take Kyle as a threat. I don't care you're from the Sopranos or whatever. You ain't coming in here. Hit the road before I make you regret it. Bro, are you serious? All right. Where you at? Threatening is not helping. Okay, let me go out to be a nice. Maybe he don't know it's me. I got a new outfit. What in tarnation? Who are you? And what are you doing on my doorstep at this golly hour? I need, a, I need to have a really good excuse. I need to have a really good excuse. Sir, I didn't mean to intrude, but I saw somebody trying to break in your car, and I thought I should let you know. I'm so sorry. Untrue. Uh -huh. Well, if you what you're saying is true, that I reckon I own you a thank you. But how do I know you ain't in, in it on it? Show me some proof you can scram right now. Sir, your windows are busted. You have two flat tires, and the guy who ran behind your house. I saw him with my own eye. Do you not believe me? Well, I'll be darned. You got my attention. Come on in. Let's discuss this further. But stay on your toes. We don't want no fun of business. That was easy, bro. I am a G app manipulating, bro. Not in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you don't. Well, I all guess that one of my lab to suck. Okay. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up, bro. All right, yep, yep, yep. I'm the I'm soprano leader. That's me. That's me. What's the racket? You better have a good reason to disturb my bed, you little boomer. I just want to let you know I'm the leader of Sopranos, and I heard one of my employees got ran off. What's the deal with that, Sony Soprano? Whoa, whoa, slow down there, Boomer. I ain't got nothing to do with your Sopranos. I don't want to know what you're talking about. Now, buzz off. I make you an offer you can't refuse, and don't come back here, y'all. Capriche. Okay, he's hard. Okay, he's hard. He's hard. He's hard. We good. We good. It's a lot of houses. We got this. We got this. Hold on. What's this? What's this? Fun shoulder back. What's this? Oh, man. Whatever. Oh, hi, my mom. What on earth are you doing on my door at this? Oh, God. oh, that's Karen. What on earth are you doing knocking on my door? This is got an hour. I demand an explanation. Sir, I mean, ma'am, I'm so sorry. You got a mustache. It kind of confused me. Ma'am, I saw a black man breaking in your bedroom window. That was racist as fuck. <laughs> oh, my I'm not phone for your trick, young man. I'm calling the police right now to support the special person I saw my door got not. Okay, let me leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. Okay, I got a bounce. I got a bounce. I got a bounce. I got a bounce. Okay, maybe the racism, is, the racism isn't doing well. Okay, let's do this. What's this? Sure. Uh, what's with the insistent knocking? Can a tortured soul find solace in her dimly lit dwellings? What do you want, Charles A. Boomer? 
I'm so sorry to disturb your fallout, boy. But I just want to let you know that your window was open upstairs. And I thought I should let you know that because it's open. I sound like dashy, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> well, 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 Charles A. Boomer. Aren't you just neighborhood superhero saving the day with your thrilling windows observations? I can't even express my immersed gratitude for your act of heroism. Hero, hero. Well, I can't speak. Now, if you excuse me, I think I'll be go drown my service with some black eyeliner. Fallout, Roy, instead of black eyeliner, try pink. It will make your eyes flush and you'll be looking so much cuter. Why did I say this, bro? <laughs> oh, Charles A. Boomer, your fashion advice is truly revolutionary. Uh, make sure to consider your fabulous suggestion of pink eyeliner. Maybe then someone finally see despair beneath my smudged mascara and broken soul. But please enlighten me. Why are you... In, 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 oh, wow. Let me speak slow. Why are you... I know that word. I just said it. Buzz around my domain like a pesky mosquito. I'll just walk around the neighborhood and I thought, hey, why don't I give Fallout Rory a high and walk them to show them that everybody is not as bad as they think they are. You know? I, can, I suck at talking to people. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, how kind of you, Charles A. Boomer. Twisted bestow upon me the gift of your high and a mere show. Yet you should know that my blackened heart longs for the solitude of misery. And your contagious positivity might prove too much for my delicate emo spirit to handle. But I suppose a short walk would have hurt much. Oh. How about this, Roy? You you take a walk with me. I will leave you alone. You can have at any night you want. Deal? Oh, Charles A. Boomer, you're final. You're you finally wore me down with my relentless boomy charm. Fine, I take a walk with you, but only under one condition: you promise to never disturb my anguish again and remind me of. Okay, I can't read that fast, y'all. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> yep. Ugh, like this is not my aesthetic, bro. Okay. Yep. Next. Wow, wow, wow. If it isn't my gloomy neighbor, Fala Roy, what the, the fuck did you do today, buddy? Are your jeans not skinny enough? No, I just came to apologize for my loud music and just for my, or for my negativity. You don't deserve that. You deserve a, a better neighbor than me, and I apologize. Well, well, well. Look who's turning over a new leaf. I appreciate their apology, Fallout Roy. Just make sure you're not blasting those sad songs on your past midnight, all right? We still need some beauty sleep sleeper on here. Oh, I can tell you got plenty of beauty sleep because you look delightful today, Hazel. May I introduce you to a cup of coffee? Introduce you to a cup of coffee, bro? What? Oh, darling, you're actually being nice today. I didn't think I'd ever, I ever see that day, but I'll take that coffee. Don't mind if I do. To make sure it's as strong as the eyeliner game, all right? Oh, compliments. I see where this is going. How about I buy you a coffee and I pick it up by 9 o'clock tonight? It's it's past 9, bro. It's past 9, bro. Oh, sorry, Fallout Roy, but I can't just join you for coffee tonight. I have a prior commitment. But hey, keep practicing your compliments. You might just get the hang of it someday. Keep your chin up, kiddo. Fuck. Okay. Alright, BRB. I didn't get in, I didn't get in scene. Oh yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Grumpy knocking on my door. What's the matter, Chuck? Did your TV run out of episodes and murder she wrote again? No, I still have three seasons. Anyway, I wanna apologize for my grumpiness and I want to see I want to see if we can make amends. Deal? Why well, I keep saying deal, bro? Well, well, it seemed like Mr. Old Grumpy has finally seen the light. All right, Chuck, I want to give you a chance to make amends. But remember, no grumpiness allowed during our little chat. No grumpiness it is. Okay, Miss Hazel? Now, I want to apologize for all the things I said to you, but can we talk about Fallout Roy real quick? He seemed kind of sad. Mm. Fallout Warrior? <laughs> Well, 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 Chuck, looks like you're finally spreading some sunshine instead of grumpy clouds. Now about Fallout Warrior, I did notice he seemed a little down later. Lately, maybe he's upset he would like that new clubhouse would, would actually be an improvement to his fashion sense. I overheard Fallout Warrior talking, and I think he likes you, but you turn her down. I'm not trying to be too nosy, but he came knocking my door crying last night. Last night, Cam. Fuck, it was today. 
Wait a minute, Chuck. Are you telling me that Father Rory has a crush on me? I mean, I don't blame him. My winning charm can be quite irre irresistible. But hey, tell him to wipe the world through tears, but I'm not interested in being his post-apocalyptic apocalyptic love interest. You got it, Hazel. I will tell him right away. But are we okay? I want to make sure we're good. And oh, I love that coffee mug, by the way. Where'd you get it from? What the fuck? What the fuck? Chuck, my dear grubby neighbor, it looks like a breath of fresh air to air you, you offering an olive branch. Of course we're good. And that's my fabulous coffee mug. I got it from Lone Edition Collection called Sespresso. It's the perfect accessory for roasting and caffeinating at the same time. That sounds wonderful. Can you tell me where that is? I would love to get myself a mug and maybe I get you a souvenir for being so nice to me tonight. Well, well, Chuck, looks like you're turning to a quite the charmer. But coffee mug shop is just down the street. I jot down the address for you. And you know what? Since you've been so nice, why don't you come inside? We can chaff some more. That's all you have to say, Hazel. Give me that ass. Come here. <laughs> well, I guess I already want to be a snack. Yep. Mm -hmm. Give me your coffee mug, bitch. Okay, I need to go back over here. Okay, we're gonna do like two more houses and then we're gonna cut it, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this is mad fun. This is fun as shit. Excuse me, but what on earth are you doing knocking my door this ungodly hour? I demand an explanation. Well, what was what that character's name? Oh, I'm so sorry, Karen. I saw the old man knocking your door. I was make sure you're okay because I heard he was a creep and you know, us women, we gotta sit together, you know? Oh, uh, we got to sit together. Mind. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I can handle myself just fine. And I highly doubt you have any accurate information about my neighbor. Now, excuse me, I have, a t I have things to do. Goodbye. Wait, Karen, don't slam the door in my face. I'm sorry. Um, Would you like a gift from Sasbresto at the coffee place where I got my mug from? <laughs> uh, I good. Well, I guess it's nice of you to offer, as long as it's not just some cheap interior coffee. I might consider something your gift. But let's make it clear, I expect nothing but the best. Karen, you are the best, so you deserve the best. Tell me what you want, and I can grab it for you right now. I bring it in the morning, wrapped in flower confetti. Flower confetti? What is that, bro? I'm a hammer. Aren't you just a full of surprises? If you insist, I suppose I can use the fresh bouquet of roses and make sure they're not those what's it ones from the discount store. You know, the one where those people work. Bring them by tomorrow morning. I'll see if I can let, live up your promise. Oh, you got it. Roses tomorrow morning? Check. Coffee for Karen? Check. Also, Karen, where did you get that blazer? It is so nice. I probably can't afford it, though. I, you know, I got to kiss ass, you know. Hello, oh, this is old thing? It's designer piece, darling. I doubt you can afford it. But I'll be generous to let you know in a secret. It's from a boutique downtown. It cost me a pretty penny. But remember, just maybe you can find something similar if you look hard enough. Good luck. That sounds splendid, but before you leave, can you show me your closet? I am stunned. What am I saying, bro? Uh -huh. Oh, well, since you're essential, it's in my flabbish fashion choices. Suppose I can oblige. Come on in, be prepared to be amazed and no touching anything unless I give you permission, darling. Yeah. Bro, I look at me, look at me coming in. Bitch, you got no fucking closet. Get your ass over here, lying to me. Oh, please, let me speak to the vampire manager. Yeah, of course. Yep. I'm caring now. Yep, we need one more house. We're gonna go back over here. I need to finish this block. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just caring. Shut up. Yo, what's the big deal, yo, Karen? Arranged in my neck over the woods on a Sengali hour. Sony Tapano, I've been looking at you the whole time I moved in. I can tell you, you have the best fashion sense I've ever seen in my life. He likes that. Well, ain't that a compliment? I gotta say, Karen, I put in some real effort to keep my style on point, Capiche. It's all about making a statement, you know. Anyway, what can I do for you? I sound like Trump. I think 
we should share our fashion sense and tell me where you got the belt. It is red like my eyeliner. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. Um, no, share man. fashion sense, huh? That's an interesting proposition, Karen. But uh, you see, the thing is, my fashion sense is a little unique to me. Wouldn't we wouldn't be caught wearing the same thing now, wouldn't we? But hey, if you need some tips, I can give you some pointers. The belt, oh, that's a secret, sweetheart. Got to keep some things on the wraps, you know? Excuse me. Oh, you got to keep things on the wraps, huh? Well, let me unwrap that belt and look at the, at the fashion sense. Also, let me see what you got in those pants. I'm talking about that wallet. He can he, he ain't like that. He ain't like it like that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there, Karen. You're crossed the line now. I may be a fashionable guy, but I ain't showing you my butt on my wallet. This conversation is over. Now it's time for you to step back and give me some space. Goodbye to you. I was trying to see your dick, bro. Pause. Pause. One more, y'all. How dare you disturb my peace for evening? What grievance do you intend to air this ungodly hour, Karen? Fragile Fred, relax. I'm just here to say, how are you? You seem lonely. I love your butterfly wink, by the way. Where'd you get them? They're so cute. They're so pretty. They're so cutie, bro. How's it going? Oh, um, thank you for noticing my butterfly wings. I got them from a local artist. And they really make me feel special, unique. And as for how I am, well, I miss him quite fragile at the moment. But your kind words have brought a little bit of joy to my heart. Fragile Fred, you are a gem. May I please insist you on fashion ideas? He did not like that. Oh, oh, how delightful! I would be so honored to share some fashion that I did with you, Karen. I find that pastel colors and floral prints really bring out the delicate beauty in everyone. And of course, don't forget the sparkle accessory. They add that extra touch of magic. And you know a lot about magic. I love those glasses, Harry Potter. The wings, delightful. The pink shoes, you have the best scent I've seen in this neighborhood. Wow. Ah, well, thank you, Karen. Your compliments for my fragile heart. Yes, I do enjoy a touch of magic in my life, and Harry Potter is one of my favorite enchanting stories. And then for my scent, it's a combination of lavender and pixie dust, carefully crafted by local perfumer. I'm thrilled that you push in my unique style and fragrance. It's truly magical. How about this? I will buy you the whole collection of Harry Potter books and DVDs if I come in. And we can chat over a cup of coffee. He's too easy, bro. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, Karen, that's such a generous offer. I'd be delighted to have a chat with you over a cup of coffee. Please come in. Just be careful with my fragile trickness around my home. They are delicate as my spirit. I know y'all probably like, this nigga high, bro. Nah, I'm just, I'm just having fun with you, bro. That's it. Oh, no, Mr. Vampire, don't run my public career. It's that. I can't lie. We're gonna do one more. <laughs> We're gonna do one more, y'all. I'm sorry. We're gonna do one more. One more. One more. One more. Oh shit. Nope. Damn it. I wanted his outfit too. I got. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, my friend. I must apologize for my confusion, but I am afraid this isn't a local search shop. You should not misplace your attire, or perhaps you are in search of a new wave. I'm sorry. I actually just got jumped, and they took all my clothes. I have nothing to wear. I feel really embarrassed. You, see, you seem so chill. I had to come knocking. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Oh, most unfortunate turn of events, my dear friend. Fear not, for Woodrow Shops are here to lend a helping hand. Stay calm and raise yourself for a transformation of epic proportions. I should find some of the suitable to wear so we can put the rascal to shame. But first, let me bring you in. We can share begin your style of journey. Yes, I would love to come in and after you dress me in your fashionable hoodie scent, we can talk about the next move. If he says yes, he's the dumbest person in this game. Well, hey! 
Oh. oh, my friend, the fates have smiled upon you. Please come in and join me in the dojo of style. We shall craft a new look that we shall leave your foes in awe, and then we shall discuss your next step. Together, we shall come with the fashion world. Enter my bear warrior. Yep. All right, buddy. <laughs> come here. Oh, you better bang it before my wood gets chopped. Oh, whoa. Okay. We're going to end it here. All right, that was suck up. That wasn't bad. That was not bad. That was actually a fun game. I saw this game for a while. I thought it was on Steam. I had to go to the actual website, download it. It's a really fun game. I would definitely come back to this um, in the future. And then in the, in the near future, I want to do Love Bites Classic. That's a different kind of twist. Pretty much got to tell the spouse that they're cheating and make a fight, whatever. But we're going to come back to this game. Um, I'm still playing Day Rising. I love you guys a lot. Thanks for the video. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm Rusty, you can tell. Thank you for watching my video. I will definitely try to bring more content to the channel. But yes, I will be streaming a lot more because I I do like streaming a little bit and Kingdom Hearts is coming out for Steam, I think, in the next two to three weeks. And when that comes out, I'm doing a whole playthrough on all the games on my Twitch channel, description below. Um, if you don't have a Twitch, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to do a stream on YouTube as well, so you can watch me there. Or you can just like watch your streams over and watch in your free time, no big deal. But I'll definitely be twitching and streaming a lot more. Um, but I do love you guys a lot. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, my apology for being slow, but I will bring more indie games to this channel. I'm playing more scary games. Uh, Dead Rising, I'm not gonna lie, the game's hard as shit. I'm only episode three right now, but the game's been that mad hard, so I'm trying my best. But I love you guys a lot. Um, thanks for watching the video and until next time. Peace. One good swing. I knew that was gonna happen. That was too hard.